So here we are making life difficult by pushing this shelf around the school when we could have pushed it through the school and out the front. But this is how we roll. Going to our live with CTV. Woo woo! There we go. Good job. Oh, runaway dice. Well, there is a hard-working team of teachers behind that numeric number. They are reporting for class this morning live for us outside Roberta McAdams School. Nadine, it's so nice to see you. What a catchy tune. It sounds exactly like Jason Derulo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sia. You guys nailed it. Uh, let's start with the formula. How did you all decide to, you know, come together and crunch some numbers? Um, well, we're all elementary teachers and parents, and when the pandemic hit, we suddenly had to change everything and go online. And we had to be teachers at home and parents to our children. And we understood the struggle other teachers were having, uh, educators and parents. So we thought, okay, how can we bring some light, some joy, some fun into a really difficult situation? So we looked at our program and we're like, where do we feel the passion? And our passion is math. And we wanted to share that love and excitement to everyone. So we looked at our program and we really looked at our math mentors and our guides that we had and our gurus. And we took our program and we looked at the activities, the hands-on activities, the games, and we videotaped them. And we wanted to bridge that gap from what we do in our classroom to the parents and educators at home, online, and in person. So once we videotaped the games and activities, we shared them through social media. So so Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, you should. Very fun. And it was it blew up. It started at 200 and Vanessa was like, oh my gosh, you guys, it's at 230, it's at 280, we're gonna go big. And that wasn't our real goal, but it was so exciting. And we wanted to make sure the games uh, at home could be accessible to everybody. So the manipulatives or tools that we use were dice, cards, whiteboards, paper, pencils. Very simple that parents, educators, anyone could use at home, online, or in person. And I think bottom line, our ultimate goal, Zia, was to share the excitement, the love of math, but to show that the, the skills of math can be supported and developed through math games, through activities, hands-on activities, and just enjoy engaging activities at home for students. And I think we've done that. Yeah, it sounds like your plan is working. Uh, feels like summer out there already. You can see the sun beating down on your face. So many parents looking for fun ways to keep their kids busy over the summer holidays. These ladies have the perfect equation for that right after weather and traffic. We'll check back in with them. Mama -ma makes you smart, which is why we have the experts with us this morning. The ladies behind the group making math fun. All right, Ashley, I've heard a bit of a rumor that math can be boring. Tell us why it's fun. <laughs> um, well, I feel like Nadine took care of that with some of the things that she mentioned. Um, and one big area that she talked about is our resources that we have available on our YouTube channel. So just like she said, please follow us because that's where you'll find this fun. We have so much access to different games, tools, um, resources, not only for parents, teachers, students. And if, if you go there, there'll be direct links that'll lead to different games. Um, and so we thought it would be kind of nice to demonstrate a little game that yeah. might um, be available for them. Yeah, so okay, so this is called Garbage Can. And this is a game, realistically, you could just use with paper, pencil, whiteboard, and a deck of cards. But if, in case you want like a class set or something to print out, we do have the game boards available on our YouTube channel. And it links you to where you can print them off and have a class set. We just put a plastic sheets so they're reusable um, but like I said it's just as easy on a whiteboard um, and why we love this game is because it's easy to play it works on like things like place value but it's also a game where you can use multiple operations so then that's where you can um, challenge some of your learners or if you need to modify it a little bit you can take a step down so we are going to focus on addition okay. and um, uh -oh. looking for the greatest sum <laughs> So here we go. So Vanessa is, I'm just going to talk you through it. She's going to take a card and she chose a five. So okay. now it's because she's looking to create the greatest sum. She's figuring out where should I put that five? 
I see that she's putting it in the middle because okay. it's not really Feels a like number that you want right to get rid of and discard. <laughs> sort of, right? They're trying to, it's, there's a bit of strategy too. Oh, so I see that Sylvia picked the two. She's actually going to discard that in the garbage can, I think, because it's really low and it's not a number that's going to get her closer to a, the highest or the greatest number or some. Okay. And then Vanessa's going to, oh, oh, she got the golden number. She got nine. Ooh. So I, I'm assuming she's going to put that in the hundred. Like I said, she wants to keep that greatest thumb. Oh, Sylvia got an eight. Competition's so she's getting still in. stiff. What? She put the eight in the middle. <laughs> There's a bit of risk there. Oh, Vanessa got a one. So she's she's going to go ahead and discard that in the garbage can because that's ooh, three. So now because she already has a number in the garbage can, she, she already discarded. Oh, she has she's going to go it. throw that in the one. Okay. Yeah, so she'll put it in the lowest <laughs> value. She grabbed a six. So we'll see where Vanessa puts that. I think she's going to put it in the tens. Yes. Oh, Sylvia grabbed a nine. So doing so her happy dance. You can see that <laughs> that top number is larger than Vanessa's right now, but there is that regrouping factor. Oh, Vanessa got a four, and she she really uh, yes, I think she's gonna throw that in the ones. Oh, a seven. Where is where is oh, Sylvia gonna put it? Is she gonna take that chance? Oh, she put it in the tens. So see, there's like, when you get passionate like this with your students in the class, they yeah, get really excited, fun. especially when we play teacher versus the student. We're oh, all big getting kids. close to the end, right? It, well, exactly. So I love <laughs> even playing this with my kids at home too. Six. Oh, we're gonna be finalizing here. Yeah, we have a few oh, seconds left. Oh, so <laughs> thinking about place value, you can already kind of see we've got a 900 number plus an 800, and yeah. the 900 plus a 200. So you can probably guess who won this game here. Um, but you can see the energy that it can create with your students or with your kids at home. So we love this game. Easy to recreate at home. You can add in those multiple operations. Um, you know, subtraction even with regrouping, that's a big concept like that they learn in grade two that carries over to grade three. And that's when we're continuously working on, especially when we were back in the pandemic and working online, how are we going to engage these kids and, and help them learn some of these math concepts through fun, engaging, interactive, hands-on ways. And honestly, games, games are where it's at. And so you know what? It's been a big win. To do. It's been a big win having you ladies with us this morning. So thank you so much for joining us. Oh my gosh, we love having, thank you for having us so much. We so appreciate it. And you guys do your homework. Check these teachers out on their YouTube channel for more math fun. You can find that link on our website.